Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Toned In Entertainment. Today we are at Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum and I'm joined by the GWA champ, Lakai. Thank you so much for joining me here today. How you doing today, man? Good, man. Uh, well, you got a big match coming up tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I have a uh, really big match today, tonight. Um, uh, it's a f wrestler that I fought before. Uh, I fought him against uh, for the title match before and um, I beat him for it. But now I guess it's a rematch, so hopefully I can uh, take him down again. You're ready to bring the pain. I've seen you in a couple matches, and uh, I would not want to get in the ring with you. I mean, I, I think you would do a serious hurting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a lot of pressure being the champ here? I mean, I, I'm assuming there's a lot of people gunning for you. Yeah, you know, when you have the belt, you have the gold. Everybody wants gold. People love gold. I mean, that's why you guys get into the business is for the championship. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. Now, growing up, what was one of your inspirations to becoming a professional wrestler? Oh, wow. That's a, that's a pretty easy answer. Growing up, uh, first guy I saw was the uh, Undertaker. As soon as I saw him, <laughs> I wanted to be just like him. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of The Undertaker, I mean, The Undertaker is definitely the phenom. He's probably one of the most recognizable characters. And I thought one of the guys growing up that influenced me that I... When I thought about becoming a wrestler one day, it never happened, but was Sting, a huge Sting fan. And we never got to see a Sting versus the Undertaker match. Uh, now, if Sting and Undertaker had a match, who do you think would come out victorious? Oh, that would be a legendary match. That would be a great match for the fan. I think it would, like, uh, bring a lot of attention. But uh, I like both, but... Uh, most definitely the dead man. The dead man would win. You go with the dead man? See, I go with Sting. I think it would be a back and forth. But. It would. It would. It would go for a pretty long round. But, uh, you know, the dead man never dies. Yeah. <laughs> now, here on Toned In Entertainment, we want to get to know you guys a little bit better. And, you know, we love movies and we love pop culture and music and everything like that. Uh, does Lakai, what, what would be one of your favorite movies of all time? Uh, there's a lot of movies out there. <laughs> I can't really think of one, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, movies I probably watch like Millions of Time. Uh, I want to say Friday. Friday is my favorite. <laughs> it's a great movie. Friday is like one of those movies that kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, you got Ice Cube, you got Chris Tucker, yeah. and I know they made a couple. Did you ever see the other Friday movies that they made after? Yes, yeah, it just wasn't the same without without Chris Tucker being there. No, there's nothing like the original. Nothing yeah, like the original. The original definitely set a, like a precedence for comedy. For sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> From my understanding, they're trying to make a, another one, the last one. So. That's true. I did hear they were trying to get Chris Tucker back for another movie. So I think coming back with Chris Tucker and Ice Cube, right. I think that's something like everybody would love to see out there. Yes, I think it would be it would uh, be a big hit, and a lot of people are probably looking forward to see it. So I would too. Yeah. Now, we are here at Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum, and I've been to a couple of your shows so far, and you've been very impressive. You've been the champ since I've been here. You're still the champ now. Right. So hopefully after tonight's event here, uh, there's actually a breast cancer uh, donation here tonight, too. So there's a lot of good things that are going on here. Who would be one of the people that you would say if um, Gangrel, okay, he's a legend out there. Yeah. Let's say he was to get the brood back together, Edge and Christian. Right. And he said, you know what, Lakai, we're coming for you. And we want to challenge you and two opponents of your choosing from any time period. What two wrestlers would you grab to be your partners to go up against the brood? <sighs> we'll go with uh, we'll go with Stone Cold, Stone Cold and uh, Triple H. Stone Cold and Triple H, yeah, there's no wrong going with those two guys, that's for sure. I thought you were going to go with The Undertaker there for a second. But. I, I would, but it would probably, probably be an unfair match. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember. I'm sure uh, Gangrel had his runs in with all three of those guys at some point, that's for sure. Uh, yes, he probably uh, many times, many times. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the things I'm trying to let people know is, you know, there's a lot of professional wrestling on TV nowadays. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, Raw and SmackDown and now AEW and NXT and NXT impact there's so much wrestling but there's also a lot of great independent wrestling going on now right. and i think when people think independent wrestling like i used to go to shows 10 15 years ago and the independent show to be honest back then wasn't very good right but you come now and it's like a huge resurgence i mean you come here and i swear to you i think some of the matches are even better than the ones you see on tv i mean what would you say to people out there that haven't been to an independent show in a long time um to tell them to come check it out uh, I would say um, if you want to have like a, a great experience and uh, see a different side 
um, it would be a great place to go check out because they um, they do a lot of different things and uh, uh, I know they work towards into like uh, elevating everybody so it's something just it's something different but uh, it's also great to see and, uh, yeah no the talent out here for the independence is it's really good so the last thing I want to ask you Lakai before we finish this interview is it's been documented that I don't have much rhythm, okay? Right, right. But you have a great ring entrance. Is there any way that you can show me how you do your ring entrance? Oh, man. <laughs> or maybe a little tip or something, you know, so I can get a little rhythm? Yeah, man, I can show you a little, man. But it's, it's, it's really, it's all in the music, and uh, it's all in the spirit. It's very spiritual and stuff like that. But uh, you just got to move your body. Yeah, I don't know. Like, how, how would it go? Like, is there, should I bend my knees or something? Bend your knees, like, like swing your you hand swing, forward, swing like, like this? Just, like this? just follow. Yeah, I just go with the music. I guess I need the music. <laughs> need the music. I probably need a little bit more than the music. Maybe a shout out Tequila, too, to get it going. But I, yeah, uh, a couple of lessons here and there. You can find somebody. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll definitely come to the master, you know, if I need a couple of lessons. Though. Uh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> All right, champ. Well, good luck tonight. And thank you for joining me here on right. Toned In Entertainment, thank guys. You so much. Yeah, make sure you subscribe here to the channel for future interviews like this. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.